السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم تو حسيب الكوانكس فرنز in this video we will discuss how we can increase the output of any SMPS how we can increase or decrease here I am getting black and yellow I am getting 12.16 volt first of all we have to see in any SMPS how we can increase voltage it is very basic point in any SMPS we give to SMPS controller a voltage reference and then when it starts oscillation here in the output this goes to from this output it will drive this transformer signal transformer and then it will drive the BJTs or MOSFETs and then this output will drive the power transformer PFC and then it will rectify and after rectification it will give output and this output will also sense to send it back as a feedback to this controller so it will take the main supply is 3.3 volt 5 volt and 12 volt in approximately all of the SMPS controllers here I am discussing AT 2005 IC if you are using this IC any controller you are using any controller just go to internet and check the data sheet pin out and data sheet if you will see here pin number two is voltage adjustment we adjust sometimes we say we can say voltage reference sometimes we can say v positive input v plus inverting input are different names of this input how it happens i will demonstrate in very simple ways we have a comparator here we give a, a reference here give positive reference two reference are given here one is our standalone reference which we generate which we define we program it and the second reference is output of the circuit so this controller will monitor here is error amplifiers in this error amplifiers in this set I see there are amplifiers there are comparators they compare your required value and your present value what value we define here suppose I say I need 5 volt so it will check if there is 5 volt available if here are 4.5 so it will increase the input output of this IC it will increase the output of pulse width modulation it will change the pulse width to make available 5 volt here if I need 12 volt it will check 12 volt and it will calculate change the pulse width and then it will ensure the voltage if these voltage are above our lower limit so at that time it will go in off condition so now we will see the connections normally 3.3 volt from the output sometime it is connected directly to this IC sometime 10 ohm sometime 100 ohms it depends upon the designer normal it is 100 ohm 5 volt it is connected to IC here is also 100 ohm or 10 ohm normally 100 ohm most of the circuits 100 ohm here 12 volt this IC cannot most of the ICs voltage comparators cannot hold 12 volt so here is a voltage divider network here is voltage divider network how what is the composition what is the arrangement of these resistors if it is one time then it will two time 
suppose here anyone connected 4k he will connect here 8k so 8 volt will drop here and 4 volt will feed to this IC here it will take 3.3 volt here will take 5 volt and here will it will take 4 volt so this 4 volt will be considered as 12 volt because it is a series voltage divider network so any change here will directly appear here if here becomes 13 volt so this 4, 4 volt will increase to 4.3 volt let's see first of all I am getting 12.5 volt so here are the two resistors 3.3 5 volt this resistor is 12 volt I am taking 12 volt 12 volt, 12 volt on, on this resistor this yellow voltage is applied here on this resistor and then this resistor is connected to this resistor okay and then it is connected here at pin number 5 pin number 5 it is take, taking 3.9 volt first of all if we see number 1 2.4 volt number 2 it is our reference these two references are available here one is standard one is our given reference we will change this reference we will change this reference then it takes 3.3 volt 3.3 volt from here the same 3.5 and after resistor it will take 3.4 volt then 5 volt actual 5 volt is here here it pin number pin number 3 should have 3.3 volt ok pin number 4 5 volt volt 5 5.1 volt pin number 5 12 volt 1 2 3 4 5 it is taking 3.75 79 3.8 volt why because these voltage are divided from this resistor and this resistor these two resistors are in series so voltage divided here will be available at this pin now let's see the circuit now it's very clear that we are taking 12 volt and we are taking 5.1 volt in the output let's see the circuit output compensation input output compensation negative input so it is inverting input V adjust it is positive input so V in positive V in negative that is input of any operational amplifier when V 3.3 V 5.5 V 12 as we discussed here we give a standard reference here one is standard reference that is V in negative and V in positive V in positive V in negative V in positive it will compare these these voltage and will make output and after output it will measure these voltage and it will make here error amplifier if these voltage are okay within limit this optical this pulse switch modulator is working good that time that time it will uh, let it working otherwise it will stop the function of pulse width modulation the first method we can change pin 1 and pin 2 or we can change pin 3 4 5 today we will discuss this one and in next video we will discuss the next ma method if you see here it is 2005 IC okay here is pin number one if we see pin number one pin number one it is connected to a reference from this way pin number two if we see pin number two it have this pin number two have two resistors here and these are in parallel these two are 
in parallel why two resistors in parallel to make a good reference so we will measure the rt total resistance on these two points set multimeter to ohm and connect pin number two and these two resistors 2.91 so we will take a potentiometer that's 5k 5k potentiometer and we will use two leads two leads and we will remove we will open the resistors from any one end remove it from this end or remove it from the other end we will re remove these two resistors if we see here this pin number two we will resist remove this resistor from this side or this side remove it from any one side so I will remove from this side so I remove the both resistors from this end I will connect this potentiometer on the parallel of these two resistors pin number two and the point from where we removed the resistors one pin here the second wire we will connect the point from where we removed the resistors now here is one point very uh, technical point adjust the potentiometer to the value the same value it is 3 point adjust it we connected the potentiometer and we have to adjust it to the same value 2.9 it was 2.91 it's okay now we will connect the power and we can adjust now the value what we want to a limited value to a specific value remember that because we have a limitation because it have to sense the feedback I will connect black lead here red lead to yellow wire we are taking 12.6 volt now I will increase now I am getting 14 volt stable pulse width modulation 14 volts and if I will rotate it to counterclockwise 12 volt and it's maximum 12 volt we can vary this power supply up till 14 volt after that if we will try to increase it if we check now the pin number 1 2 3 it's now 3.42 volt so it is increased before that it was 5.1 volt now it is 5.7 volt before that it was 4 uh, 3.7 volt we can see this resistor is also these pins are also going up when I will increase the output so at the final end it will stop so you have to if, if I check the output at 12 volt I will first I will adjust 12 volt I adjusted it 12 volt 12 volt so at 12 volt 1 2 3 4 5 at 12 volt this pin is taking 3.6 volt 3.6 volt when I will increase the voltage up to 14 volt 14 volt at that time 2 4 5 this pin is going 4.2 volt it is up if you want to increase more voltage in our next subject I will 
demonstrate how you can adjust these resistors if you adjust these resistors this this resistor and this resistor you will have you have to change the combination and you have to increase the value of these two resistors if you will increase these resistors you can take more voltage in this current combination this present combination we can adjust it up to 12 volts of oh, sorry 14 volts from 12 volts until 14 volt black coffee if you want to take black coffee because I like black coffee without sugar it is uh, too much bitter but it is very nice and healthy so we can adjust the output just only now what we, you will do because potentiometer is not a permanent solution I will uh, remove it now I removed it now what we will do don't uh, move the potentiometer now we connected these two points to the board set multimeter to ohms and measure the carefully the amount of resistance it is 3.7 3.7k 3.7k take a resistor of 3.7k and connect between these two points remove these two resistors remove these two resistors at pin number 2 and connect 3.7k resistor the same value connect here so your power supply will be shifted to 14 volts I think this video is good for you like subscribe and share if you want if you want to watch my future videos you can press bell icon button if you want if you have any question let me know if you have any other IC let me know in the comment box or send direct message to my whatsapp number so I can respond. Thanks for watching and enjoy coffee. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.